Next time, okay. Well, uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. I haven't been here for a while. The last time I was here, well, it wasn't here. I don't know where it was. It was someplace in this state, I'm pretty sure. Where? where? It was, Bowji was here. And these guys were here. Here, there, wherever it was. I don't know. I did, didn't know. I had, hadn't been on the East Coast very long. In fact, the very first time I came, check. The very first time I came um, was probably in like, I don't know how long this has been going on, like maybe 1983 or something? Was that possible? Yeah. And right. it was, uh, yeah, I remember trying to start a little square dance out on the grass. <laughs> and then another time, I have to say this, so I, I, um, I didn't come, but I, for many years, I taught uh, at summers at a music and dance camp at Shokin, New York, and uh, there was a public telephone there. This was before cell phones. And um, so I went down to use the telephone, and there was a little Baba card. And apparently, you guys had had the Northeast Gathering there one year at a Shokin. Yeah, so that's my connection with uh, this place. So this first song, we've been hearing all these stories. Uh, oh my God, these stories. Ah, I needed this, let me just tell you. I've been having some like fights with Baba lately. Screaming, screaming fights. <laughs> you know, those kind of things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did my best. I put up a good fight, but. <laughs> anyway, lots of stories about the Mondali and um, yeah, so beautiful. So I'm going to start with a song that I wrote for Marizad. Eight. i 
Thank you, Jay Barber. It's always a treat to get to play with Mark and Lisa. It's always a treat to get to play with you, Beverly. We've been getting to do a little bit more lately. We ended up in Australia at the same time, just, well, it was a year ago a year now. Ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seemed like it was that long ago, but. You guys start the field tonight? We what? Tonight. Where you're, the square dance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that energy building. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great dance. Um, when I first went to India, I think it was 1977, the Mandli had never seen fiddle music before or heard it, so mm -hmm. it was pretty fun. They just they couldn't get over it. <laughs> you know that famous picture of Money holding a fiddle? That's Beverly's fiddle. That's my fiddle, yeah. yeah. But um, one of my favorite stories was that um, I was there at the opening of the new dispensary, which was, is now quite old. But, um, you know, this dispensary that's there at Marizad. Um, and they had, I don't know who came out and cut the ribbon and all that. It was, it was in India, so they had a big celebration. And so, of course, you know, I pulled out the fiddle and people were dancing all around. And Mani just couldn't believe that, uh, I mean, she kept talking about it. Every time I would show up in India, she would talk about that, the opening of the dispensary and how it was, she had thought that it would be this solemn occasion. And, you know, because people come there because they're sick and they're dying, and instead everyone's like partying and dancing all around. And <laughs> she, she loved it, yeah. <laughs> so here's one for Marabad.
Was your memory that remained like a spirit following me and it carried me to the top of a hill where I could lay my burdens down, lay them down, lay It's a hard and heavy load the heart must bear, but it carries us to the top of the hill where we can lay our burdens down, lay them down, lay them down. one you can all sing along to hopefully or whatever dance croak please sing along you're so quiet
By Beverly. Thank you. Oh boy, that was a good one. <laughs> well, uh, this is going to be another um, uh, not so fun, <laughs> not so fun song. I think I have a lot of songs that aren't that fun. It's not always fun with Bob. It's always, it's always good, but it's always fun. Um, no, this is a, it's. It's this one, I have many that complain. This one isn't exactly a complaint. It's not. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> and you guys have, and, and, and Mark and Lisa have not heard this before, so. Land on us. We're land low. I've watched horizons disappear into a great troubled sky in the sunrise saffron gold out of the dark Isn't it? 
Do another dance one. All right. Well, here's one. Here's one you can all sing along to. You want to? This is that F one. Purple. Only by your grace. So Mark and Lisa are going to show you how it goes. Right. <laughs> I just learned Only it 30 seconds grace. ago. <laughs> it's got an answer to Beverly's call, so we all do the. We'll do Did the. We'll, dem we'll demo it. Do first. the thing I do. Only do it right. <laughs> so it was a little bit like um, Sorry, I couldn't blah, blah, blah and play at the same time. <laughs> Tricky business. We'll help them. We'll help them. I didn't realize I couldn't do that, but... Only by your grace. Only by your grace. That's your part. Only by your grace.
for singing. Yeah. Couldn't do it without you. <laughs> oh gosh, this is another complaining one. <laughs> okay, you with me? You with me on it? <laughs> the complaining will continue until morale improves. <laughs>
Thanks for listening. It's, uh, it's, it's my pleasure. Thank you, really. It was a long drive. <laughs> But Where, it was a nice drive. From? It, it, from, I, from, I live right near Asheville, so, uh, so I think Phil has done the same drive. <laughs> um, but it's right up 81, and it's gorgeous. So I enjoyed it. I've got a lot of history with 81. So. This is one, I don't know if you know this one. Do you know this one? In your eyes, in your these guys are troopers. They're so, so professional. Don't they look like they know what they're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so this song, um, I wrote this a while ago. It was, uh, it's called Baba's, hun the 100th birthday song. And um, I always tell this story when I, when I sing this song, but I had thought, there was a, there's a, a quote of Baba's that says that, um, he, he's, his presence is felt as strongly for the first hundred years, and then it starts, you know, kind of waning. And so when I heard that his hundredth birthday was coming up, I was in a complete panic. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, you know, I realized that you know how much I am attached to that sense of his physical body being here, and I didn't want to have to lose that. And then I heard that it was actually um, from the time that he dropped his body, the hundred years, so I got a little reprieve there. <laughs> but in the meantime, I wrote this, this song out of panic. In your eyes, in your eyes, I find my resting place and I'm a child safe home in your embrace like a child I need the things of a child in your eyes in your eyes I see the best of me and in your smile I hold what's true in the memory of you. But I will lift my head up high and hold to hope and hope for life. Surrender all I can, remember you to come again. Take your name with all my Come again. In your eyes, in your eyes, it's not a long time. The speed of light, a single lifetime that I hold to these memories of you. Is 
more than our simple hearts can bear. birthday. Hmm. Uh, this is another kind of slow one. Well, slow. Should we do something? Let's do, um, you want to do a rocker? You can rock out on something. Sure, man. Okay, I don't know if you've heard this, but... <laughs> Have you heard this one? Take all of these? It's just like, you'll see. Just jam okay. It's a jam tune. Good. So you guys can um, dance if you want to.
take all of these, please. <laughs> Pretty please. Thank you. How y'all doing? All right? I know Marijuan got y'all excited about Indian food. <laughs> I did find a, I posted on Facebook on my way up here, I found this Indian restaurant at a truck stop. It was fantastic. And they had this menu. I posted on Facebook their menu because it was like probably a hundred things to choose from. And this little dinky like next to the Exxon station. And I said, do you have all these things? And they said, oh yes, they had it all. Beautiful. Here's one you can sing along to. This is another new one. Uh -oh. It was in tune when I bought it. Probably was in tune. I think if I can tell you any other stories. Well, here's a story. It's the curve of your finger, the grace of your hand, the sun in the twist of your curve. It's the light in your smile, the truth in your eyes. Without saying a word, and oh, it's love, 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 nothing but love, and oh, it's love, 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 nothing but love. It's the you reach me down to the core, quiet my struggles and fear. It's your strength and your joy, the truth in your eyes makes all my doubts disappear. Oh, it's love, love.
Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, I just wrote it. It's pretty new. Brand new. You know, actually, none of my things are on albums anyway. So. I mean, I have a little EP. I do have, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, yeah, Beverly has a CD over there that's an EP. I think there's five or six songs that she did with Jason, right? Mm -hmm. Jason yeah. Hooman? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, Hohen, and uh, he's a wonderful keyboard player. So check that out. It's, it's really good. We're just going to do one more, I think. Um, but we're going to have the square dance later. And, and Charles talking about the youth Sahavas reminded me a lot of uh, the... When the youth office first started, I had started doing a square dance at the center on um, New Year's Eve. I think it was in 1988, mm -hmm. and uh, I did it every year except for one. I missed a year, and I really got like, "Ooh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> Don't want to do that again." So I did it until pretty much until um, probably 2018 when I started having the opportunity to spend the winter in India. So I I started doing that. But um, so the square dance became a big part of the, the New Year's uh, celebrations there. And then when the youth sahaba started, we started doing a square dance for the youth sahabas. And um, one of the things that really impressed me when they got together to talk about how they wanted to organize things, this is kind of what Charles was saying, how to organize things the next year, well, like what night to do the square dance. And a lot of times the square dance is sort of a place like, you know, when you're that age and you get to hang on to somebody. <laughs> that you, you know, there's like some romantic vibes happening there. And, you know, people tend to kind of, on the social world, couple up a little bit on the, at the square dance. Um, so you might think that they would want to do that sort of at the end of the week, you know, when they had kind of picked the people that they wanted to do that dance with. But it's also a fantastic icebreaker. You know, you, you mix, you know, you dance with one person and you leave that person, you dance with another person. And they really wanted to have, I mean, this is the second year that they had that, the youth service. They wanted to have the dance at the beginning of the week, which I thought was really telling. Like, they, they didn't want to have this click of the people that had been there the year before and wanted to dance with each other. They really wanted to bring in all the new people and, 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 and right away get them, get them involved. So that was very impressive. Yeah. And that's what the that's what the square dance is. It's like it's a it's the southern version. It's a southern Appalachian hillbilly version of a healing circle, and, and it really is. <laughs> first time I did it, just one little story. First time I did it at, at New Year's, I didn't really I didn't really know the community there very well, and I was calling that dance. It was a circle dance, and you sort of passed by people. I think it was like called Lucky Seven. We might do that tonight. You pass by, you know, everybody in a right hand look at the person, left hand, look at the person, new people, and then number seven is your partner. That's whoever they are, number seven, that's your partner. And I remember like calling that dance and looking out going, what is going on here? Like something is happening. Well, it turns out that it was a lot of the community, the local community um, that had come for New Year's. This was before, la later, after the youth office happened, they would start coming back for New Year's a lot and New Year's got really crowded. But in the beginning, the first couple of years I was doing the dance, it was just like a local party and a lot of the just locals were there. So there are all these people there who had lived in Myrtle Beach for a long time and had had a lot of history with each other. And so it was like, you know, ex-business partner, ex-wife, ex, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, for, <laughs> and, and it was like, it was palpable what was going in. Then number seven, whoever they were, they might be somebody that you weren't talking to anymore, whatever, but you just swung with them. And it was, that's what I mean about a, a healing circle. You, it's just play. You just let it go. And it feels like Baba really, really likes it. And Monty and Eric really like the music. So come to the square dance tonight. Yeah. <laughs> get a healing. Yeah, get some healing. We're going to heal you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for listening. I don't get to do these songs too too much out in my commercial world, whatever it is. It's not very commercial. I play old time music. It never was very popular, but <laughs> it's more popular now than it ever was, except for in the 1920s. We're making tens of dollars. <laughs>
could never stray far from my beloved's glance. It is the light that marks my way. It is the truth that I Mohammed, and you are. 
Thank you, and thanks hey, to Mark Baba. and Lisa. Hey, Baba. Beverly Smith, everybody. Mark and Lisa.